Hello. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's roll into a solo challenge. No need to, um, you know, hesitate. This week has been hilarious for daily uploads. Like, so many mistakes starting with the Friday upload. That was actually a Saturday upload. A Monday upload, which was a repeat. That original upload moving to Wednesday. It was a, a headache. And this episode is going to be more dated than the other ones. But I don't care. I think that's kind of interesting. How many games can we go by with IO Mining being like the starting play? I mean, come on. How do I get around this? What do I do? Because this here, it's like you could do a Metal Rich Asteroid and like a Martian Industries. And you'd feel pretty good about Interplanetary. We could also do um, Point Luna. You have eight more starting dollars as Point Luna and arguably a better effect. But you don't get money back on rebates. You also don't get uh, some other things. Money back stuff. I, I feel like we played Point Luna so much lately that even though it's arguably a worse choice, we... Oh no, I can't grab Interplanetary because then I can only grab two cards and still get IO on the first turn. With Point Luna... I get another $18 coming in, four, in tit four titanium for $12, and then $6 for Mars first. So I only need one of those titanium, so I could buy up to five cards. One of those titaniums gets us from 38 to uh, 41. I think about it in an odd way. Don't worry about it. We're going to go with the invention contest. Uh, no earth tags either, but there's no way I'm giving up on Arctic algae. Arguably, the strategy in this round, if you were just going to do a standard project gambit, you would just take Arctic Algae, buy a bunch of oceans and play algae, and then like have most of your water and plant-based needs satisfied. Uh, we're not about the slow life, we're about the fast life, and the fast life is always playing IO Mining in the very first generation. Uh, business network and some terraforming lovely this is something that we want to go after we do need the the tags ghg producing bacteria is also interesting i really don't want to play business network now because i like to maintain my income but who knows let's, let's start with the invention contest Get a science tag. That science tag would be our number one science tag. So it's not our second towards tectonic stress power. Let's go ahead and play a business network. We've got an oxygen bumper and optimal arrow breaking. Now, I actually kind of wish we had picked um, interplanetary cinematics just to get some of that sweet, sweet super rebate going because that would have been something that we haven't seen on the channel for a little bit. But at the same time, I mean, this is this is pretty nice. Building tags that we'd like to copy, it's almost certainly going to be an energy and a steel income with robotic workforce. That's what I'm looking at. Let's start off, though, with a card draw from playing Space Hotels. Viral Enhancer, wow. You certainly have my attention. Um... Let's do a quick card draw with Lagrange. Okay, more science. Love to see it. Let's go ahead and get that steel and energy income, and we'll get another titanium income. I'm not going to sell any cards to make that happen. I like our cards. And we have four titanium income at this point. And potentially a whole lot more. Holy... Uh, Predator's cool, one-point animal. I think that we just position ourselves as fast as we can for a, a really strong AI central. And to do that, we need uh, more steel and hopefully some more things as well. I mean, card draws is king. Earth office, it happened. Rigolith eaters, I do like it, but I already have a bacteria card. Uh, research in case we need it. Extreme cold fungus. Oh my god. I should have grabbed regular theaters after all. How do I get the oxygen up enough steps? I don't know. 
I do know if I do a nuclear zone, I get the heat production, which would be nice. Oh, man, I have so much titanium as well. Like, we just... I, that card draw... Like, do you do research just to keep the cards rolling? So then you do optimal arrow breaking, import GHGs, because that's just like insanely good. Satellites for six income is, is not a joke. It's not a joke. I think that you, you do that. I think that we also get tectonic stress power, but I'm heavily debating AI central instead, like just saving up our steel and getting the nuke zone. The nuke zone gives us the heat production, which I think is is still very demonstrably good. I'm going to grab the steel to make sure that we stay on tempo. There, we just got another, like, a points per Jovian, our second points per Jovian. This is shaping into something that, that could just be incredible. Cartel? Uh, a late game thing? Like, oh my lordy. We did give up some... We did give up a few things just now in terms of cards that we could have drawn, but I think that we're better for it. Let's go ahead. And because I just picked up an oxygen bumper, I think we have to start using it because we want to get to 4% oxygen really fast. To start using it, we need to get energy coming in. Um, and that is not good because AI central I can't get both of these and this it's we're in kind of a hard spot right now because I also need to get like I can't not get cartel I mean it's just non-negotiable let's get the energy started I'm gonna lean into the energy first mindset here um, get our energy all the way up to six Cartel's looking good. You play Cartel. That gets us six more income, was it? Lovely. 17 income. A whole bunch of metal. The, the titanium's piling up, but there's a third Jovian multiplier. So bear with me. Nitrolithic moss, that's fine. There's the heat bump for that heat income. We love to see it. Uh, we would very much so like... Before playing Ironworks, I am going to play AI Central in case we get a better Oxygen Bumper. We didn't. That's fine. We do have a Energy Tag played, which is not multiple, so not we're not going to worry about that. Um, a little bit of that. And by the way, CEO's favorite project and Physics Complex go together so well, it's a bit insane that we got offered that super duo I don't mind gene repair I'm looking at it but I think you just mining expedition first for the oxygen because I do need that as fast as possible let's get an extra card hackers meh I do have a ton of titanium and I would love uh, if we you know get better use out of it quite frankly Just keep using our energy peroxide power I don't need it now because I got geothermal um, we're at 3% oxygen the best way I can see to wrap this up is actually a protected valley so that goes I mean the two card draw is so nice but let's just do this for now um, I can't get everything I want because I want G or GG producing bacteria and extreme cold fungus. Uh, I can do that. It involves selling three cards, uh, hackers, power grid, and Martian rails. 
but it means that I don't get a bonus plant from either of them. But we get a bonus heat bump, which is pretty good. I think we should do that. So Martian rails, hackers, and power grid are gone. GG producing and extreme cold fungus are in. Two microbes onto that bad boy. And there we go. Our heat income is now one per generation. And then whatever flow over happens to happen down there. We will use some extra titanium. Again, if we had gotten titanium cards at this point, we would be laughing. But we just can't seem to make it happen. Like this is a it's a pretty viciously low number of titanium based cards there we go extreme our big asteroid considering how much card draw that we have i don't want to overdo ox gang but right now i think that we're happy to just play some science draw from the deck uh no oceans yet but minus 12 has me terrified that i'm gonna miss it so i'm actually thinking about Viral Enhancers, Arctic Algae, just so that that cannot be screwed over anymore. Restricted Area, let's keep this card draw going. Let's go for this card, Recorded Nitrogen, that's a lovely space event to have. Livestock is a lovely one point animal. Um, I don't see any reason why we shouldn't play the big asteroid. Seems like a uh, absolute win right now. It gets us more cash monies. Noctis farming is enough for a greenery. And I'm going to keep going down card draw lane. One more earth type. We have 10, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Three productions. This does make us $2 of profit and a card draw. I will play it. Okay, there we go. 23 income. It's our game to lose. How do we lose it? Not enough oceans. Uh, so let's grab some oceans. And let's grab some cities. Uh, the cities I'm more questioning just because I want them for a high score. But I don't need them in the same way that I need everything else. Quantum. Hired Raiders. It's not broken anymore. Card draw. And we're drawing a lot of cards. Let's go ahead and get the science tag. Uh, space events. I'm going to grab the terraforming space events rather than the points one. Uh, because that's what I think that we need the most. We'll keep these heat bumps from microbes rolling. I mean, we're getting there. I'm not sure that we need a wild tag. I do need... A methane from Titan. I don't think that we have enough titanium to pay for everything right now. Because I have a couple Jovians that we're going to get downrange with all the titanium that we've built up. We have a lot of animal cards, right? So two animals from this card, an animal from this card. Uh, two more animals from this card over here. So a lot of high potential uh, for points coming downrange here. But it does make it awkward because a lot of these I, I want to play them, but they don't quite work for us just yet. Let's go ahead and steal that two steel. I would have loved to have money or rebate stuff. I don't want to spend any energy yet either. It's a little, it's a weird one, I know. But Instead, let's just get the artificial lake. This will get us a bunch of extra plants. And I could play the wild tag, but we just don't have to yet. Let's pass. 35 tier, two generations, lots of oceans to go. My god. My god, do you see what I see? Oh my god, I can't. Oh my god. Oh my god. I, uh, I'm having a hard time vocalizing how many amazing things are happening for us right now. We need oceans. We need discounts. We need rebates. We need space events. 
We need a lot of things, but my god, if ever we were going to start getting them, now would be the time. And it seems like that's happening. One thing that I really want to do, though, is actually get Physics Complex, because I have 6 energy now and never again, probably. Eh, next generation I can do it if we don't need it for the Ox Bump, I guess. But, my god. Um, we need so many oceans. So water import is actually playable just by virtue of needing the ocean so badly. Convoy from Europa, another playable card goes here. Is there another cheap ocean card that we have? No. I am going to play Physics Complex, and I'll tell you why. I have all the heat bumps I need already, so long as I play, um, so long as I play my cards, you know? Yeah, no. Uh, one second. Where? What's next? Livestock would be really cute. It would open us up to play a lot of the cards that we need to play. Everything else I basically can't play. You know, I still need all this oxygen. Like, it's pretty tricky. I want to get an ocean here before putting a greenery there. That's the current kind of problem that's happening. I'm going to go this way with our greeneries. Just do a little roundabout. Uh, another greenery goes here and then this is the next big say is do we go for livestock which hurts our plant income or do we wait for birds and I think you get the livestock because then you can what can you do this generation if you get the livestock well debatably or arguably not all that much if I'm honest but I could start looking to sell cards for tempo. I also have a lot of... Um... Oof, we have a lot of things going on, don't we? Let's, let's take stock, okay? Let's take stock. In terms of oxygenating the planet, that's really not a problem. Getting the oceans, having access to this click, means that the oxygen is going to actually be pretty easy. So we're, we're fine, especially because we're going to get big rebates for putting these greeneries down. Uh, heat bumps. We're going to get one from our heat, one from our microbe click. And we do, in fact, need to play, as of now, lava flows for the last two. So that's covered. What's outstanding is um, oceans. So we have this, which we're going to make money and heat back on. So already pretty good. Not to mention we can get heat back on this card. So maybe we don't need Lava Flows, but we will see. If we get a card like Asteroid, it will give us enough heat for the second heat bump. It would be incredible. Uh, so Oceans, we have one here and one here. So we're one card short for Oceans, which is like kind of crap. But that's something we can work with. From there... What do we want to play? Well, what we want to play is Terraform Ganymede and Ganymede Colony. Absolutely. Uh, we want to get some cities down. That's pretty tricky, if I'm honest. Uh, it's a pretty tricky ask. We do, fortunately, have Underground City that I grabbed, and I ended up not playing for energy purposes or energy reasons. But either way, I think that we're kind of good... I just would hate it if we just had to standard project those last two oceans because then we would find ourselves a little bit shy on all the cash we want to get that massive Jovian payout. I can't play you. All of you are a waste of my time. Uh, discounts on space. Fantastic. It's not too late for that. That's a bad card. And look at one more. No good. Okay. Space discount. Oh, we advanced alloys. Actually, I literally forgot about that. So that's cool. Um, I 
Eos Chasma. I mean, you're look you're looking pretty freaking good right now. We still don't have those ocean cards, okay? So that's like a tricky one. Let's play Bribe Committee here for a card draw. And then let's play Imported Hydrogen. Again, it is a space event. It is getting us the livestock, but importantly, it's another card draw. Okay, couple strikes, couple misses. Um, I don't have any points microbes or anything. So we can do the imported hydrogen. Again, this is getting us lovely TR. It's getting us heat. It's actually getting us the heat bump from GHG producing bacteria, which is interesting uh, because it means that we have access to an additional plant. I hope that that's not something that is all that relevant. A couple green relocations. I think we can do the... Look, what we got to do now is get this ocean for this card. And it, it, we just, we're striking misses here all day. Nothing but misses. And because we didn't get any heat or space event stuff either, um, it's pretty clear, to me at least, that, uh, well, you know what? Last, we, we have to play this heat bump card, basically, is what's clear. And then from here, did we get anything we wanted? No, not really. Let's play some oceans. I don't know that there's a best place. I mean, look, an ocean down here makes a lot of sense because two titanium is something that I want to spend on these multipliers. So let's go ahead and do this one. This one could just as easily be... Which of these two should be an ocean and which one should be a mangrove? Or should either be a mangrove? I guess not. Let's play an aquifer here and a greenery beside. So there's all the terraforming that we need. Next up, we have four Jovian tags. This is this one here is just so cheap. There's no way Ganymede Colony isn't the right play. Um, next up, let's trim our hand. There's a lot of cards that we have in here that are not worth playing. Uh, for points reasons. Uh, this is two points for 10 bucks. So we'll just hold on to that for a quick second. Okay. Hmm. This is really good. As much as I'd like another steel, I don't think one more steel is well it could be a break point for everything else here's the thing though is i have in my points right there's no way i've i've achieved the greatness okay i've achieved one two three multipliers and now i have a tr multiplier for ganymede colony so with the tr that this card provides it's at six, maybe seven. And it also means that with it, it's going to give us two points. And it's going to get multiplied on an additional three times. So it basically is a five points on cards plus six. Like this is like 11 points for $27. It's like less than $3 a point, And half of them are TR. Granted, CEO Sphere Project, that's two points for a single dollar. It's pretty good. Mangrove is also two points for $12. Underground City is six points for like $18. So it's like, it's $3 per point. So they're, they're basically very similar, which is sad considering how it is but i'd rather have more points than less points so let's go ahead and keep selling at this point we're gonna have to be a little bit more razor sharp with our uh point stuff again i have a little bit of steel so i'm hesitant to sell some of these cards but this gets us up to 27 so like uh, at this point we're just trying to figure out after playing our cards, 
let's be real. This is gonna be for a plant. So we're one plant away. This is gonna be for a steel or two points because that's better than house printing. If I sold everything, if I sold these five cards, I wouldn't have enough to play Research Coordination and Terraforming Ganymede and see. I'm going to play CEO's favorite project, okay? Look, that's two points right there. That's just incredible. Half a dollar per point. Incremental cost. Obviously, I invested in beforehand. Um, now, one plant for us is also a point because it's an additional greenery. So, like, getting this... I hate to say it, but getting the underground city is actually incredible. It's a seven point play because of the additional greenery. Oh man, that's nasty. That is nasty. That's like two and a half dollars per point. When you're looking at terraforming Ganymede, you're looking at like 11. It's also two and a half per point. Oh, I want to get all four multipliers though. Like that's... That's the name of this run. So if I do that, though, can I get anything else? Because I don't, I don't see us having any leftover money. Why the hell am I still holding on to immigration channels and asteroid mining? That's complicating my math for no reason. I'm just, like, trying to find something. Like, if I play Mangrove first, for instance, I get the $4 back for placing it here. And it virally enhances. So really, it's two points, right? It's a point for the mangrove, a point for the greenery, and a third point for enhancing and giving me the last plant. So it's three points, and it's not $12. It's actually $4 back, so it's $8. So three points for $8 is also an incredible ratio. But I don't have an extra $8. I hardly have enough to buy my freaking card. If I sell everything, I can't afford research coordination. I think the reason this is taking so long is because none of it works. It's all close to working, and it's all very close in terms of, of points payouts, but I'm just a dollar short every way you slice it. I just cannot afford research coordination. I cannot afford everything else. One last time for clarity. If I bought Underground City and Mangrove, I would get three points, like one, two points here, and six points here, plus the additional greenery. So I would get nine points, okay? That's cool. Playing Ganymede Colony, I would get six TR, two points on the card for eight points, plus the three multipliers for a total of more points. All of these cards, in extremely close to being everything in the world I ever wanted them to be, but they just aren't there. Also, playing Terraforming Ganymede gives us the triple win because it gives us enough TR to get uh, to 63 or more. What a tragedy of a finale, though. What a tragedy of a finale. We just didn't have, like, the NOS. We didn't have the engine. If we had money back on events in general, if we had gotten some more of those... Uh, like mass converter cards, the the science tags that give discounts and a lot of energy. Like, I think that we could have hit the ground running faster if I wasn't so greedy picking up points card and having faith that more points cards would show up later on. Especially with how much card draw that we had. I should have drafted more diligently. But I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.